Hello everybody, my name is Karen Boinet and for as long as I can remember, I help people to enter into their dreams, ideas and potential and when it came to my dreams and my ideas, I've realized that I talked myself out of it. Oh, that's not going to work, so I may as well not even try it. Then time came when I started to ask myself, what do you want? Happily, until now, I found it. Do you? Part of the problem was that I let go of the first seconds of my impulse and let it slip away. My problem wasn't the dreams or ideas. My problem was that I didn't act upon them. Because when I had the idea or the impulse or was even inspired to do something, I did not act upon it. I didn't put it on paper, rather got back to my daily routine and talked myself out of any action. Back into my comfort zone, I convinced myself, it's okay the way it is. I'm doing just fine. The procrastination, that's how I call it, was entirely my fault. I could not even blame somebody else or have the excuse of not having enough money. So back to my question, what do you want? To get what you want is very simple. Oh, by the way, I didn't say easy. We actually live in a most amazing period of time. If you want to start eating healthy or build a new facility for elderly people or even move to Africa and create a school for children, you can find any fantastic book written by great writers and research, or check in with Mr. Google to find certainly a thousand blogs, or you can even follow people who already do it or are on the way to do it. You have all the information. You have all the contacts you need and could probably download any free tool on how to build a business. So, I come back to my question. Why don't you have what you want? Actually, it comes down to a way we all function. We are not expressing our true feeling and we pretend that all is fine when it's not. So if all is okay, guess what? I don't have to do anything to change. And that thing you want, you have convinced yourself that you're okay, not having it. And for this reason, you will not push yourself doing it. The areas in your life where you have given up and said to yourself, it's all okay, I'm doing fine. We will wait until the kids graduated before we get a divorce. So in the meantime, we just live in separate bedrooms. Really? I just lost my job, can hardly wait, pay my bills, but whatever. It is hard to find a job. Good excuse. Know that in any area of your life you want to change, you have to know one thing. You are never ever going to feel like it. Scientists call the force that is required to change your behavior from living in a mode of autopilot to do something new, the activational energy. Just a little change to challenge you. Put your clock tomorrow morning, 30 minutes before your usual time, but do not put the snooze button or delay. You will confront the physical force that is required to change behavior. Do you think that somebody who needs to lose weight ever feels to go on a diet? Not really. You know how much it takes you to get up from the TV in order to do your walk outside. You said you would do. The same force is needed to get out of your warm and cozy bed into the cold bathroom. You have to force yourself. Anything that's a break from your routine requires force. As an adult, we try to create a stable routine and then we get bored with it and frustrated. It is a basic need of the human beings to explore. In our childhood, we have our parents to make us do all the things we don't like. 
because if not told, we would not do them. So being adults, we forgot to force ourselves to do the things we don't feel like doing in order to be everything we are supposed to be. Instead, we are so busy to feel like it and waiting for it, and we actually are never doing it. Forcing yourself to get outside of your head and past your feelings. Feeling, sorry for this word, are screwing you. I don't care how you feel. Actually, I really care about what you want. And if you listen to how you feel when it comes to what you want, you will not get it because you will never feel like it. It is required to get out of your comfort zone. It is not even about taking risks. It's about getting out. Like having an impulse idea and not taking action. Get outside. That is where life happens, where you will meet people and opportunities. And no, as technology is accelerating, you need the capacity to have the ability to focus what matters and to have control over your thoughts and actions. Because reading about change does not make the change. The answers are within you and within me. Now, do you have the courage to make it happen? I will leave you to your reflection and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.